Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to a live news special here from the Beto Slam Mosque in Skantop. Earlier today, on this special occasion, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed, may Allah be his helper, inaugurated the first purpose-built mosque in the area. Before we tell you more about the history and the journey to the inauguration itself, let's take a look at some of the scenes from earlier today where His Holiness Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed, may Allah be his helper, officially inaugurated the site and blessed his presence to the site in once again. Let's take a look. Tera phool, phool chehra, main sada bahar dekho, woh ghadi kabhi na aye, tujhe be karar dekho, tera phool, phool chehra. मैं सदा बाहर देखूं वो घड़ी कभी ना आए तुझे बेकरार देखूं है मकीन दिल तुझे से है जहाँ दिल की रानक है मकीन दिल तुझे से है जहाँ दिल की रानक है दुआ दिल ये तुझको बाबर गोबार देखूं तेरा फूल फूल चेहरा मसदा बाहर देखूं वो घड़ी कभी ना आए तुझ पे करार देखूं तेरी दीद से सवा हो मेरा शौक दीद हर पल तेरी दीद से सवा हो मेरा शौक दीद हर पल कह चश्मे नम मचल के तुझे बार बार देखूं तेरा फूल फूल चेहरा मैं सदा बाहर देखूं Those were some scenes from earlier where Hazrat Khalifatul Masih V, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed, may Allah be his helper, officially inaugurated this historic mosque. Now, this site has been blessed with the presence of Hazur Anwar, may Allah be his helper, multiple times, the first being in 2004. Let's take a look at a short video detailing the historic visits of beloved Hazur to this site. आए हुजूर घर में हमारे खुशामदीद उतरे हैं आसमान से तारे खुशामदीद आए हुजूर घर में हमारे खुशामदीद उतरे हैं आसमान से तारे खुशामदीद First time Huzur came, uh, it was actually 2004 when he came to us, and I was uh, um, just a new arrival in Skantub at that time. So I remember we have a small bungalow as a mosque at that time, and there was about 30, 30 35 people standing in line with Huzur. So uh, Huzur cars comes in, and we all have the opportunity to have a uh, Musafa Sheikh hand with Huzur. Um, and then I recall and remember that I hold the Hazur hand. It was such a big thing for me that, you know, this is the first time you're holding Hazur hand out of his office somewhere. We are so blessed and we are so fortunate um, personally and as Jamaat that Huzuri Akhtas has actually been here six times and um, we 
can never say thank enough to Allah Ta'ala for giving us that blessing. And I think each member has uh, had blessings from Huzuri Akhtas. We had very uh, informal sittings with Huzuri Akhtas where children have been given, Huzur gave chocolates to children. <laughs> This uh, present would be his seventh visit and you can imagine the excitement because it has been such a long time uh, coming. Uh, so we are very, very blessed and fortunate. A few days before Hazor's arrival, the, uh, the excitement is, uh, is electric right now. You know, this, this mosque is, is filled up with, with people every day. You know, there's a lot of activity happening, all, all the Wakari Hamal is happening. Um, it's just exciting to see how many people are just so frequently here, like for whatever small thing that needs to happen, the entire Jamaat is, is willing to come down and, and to help out. So just seeing that kind of um, positivity or that kind of active atmosphere is, is, is really quite amazing. And of course, um, for quite a few of these people, um, this could be the first time that um, Hazur, they're seeing Hazur in Skantor. <laughs> That was a look at some of the historic visits of beloved Hazur, may Allah be his helper, to this mosque site. We are now joined by Dr. Muzaffar Saib, who's serving as the regional Amir. Uh, Salam alaikum, Dr. Saib. Jazakallah for joining us. Wa alaikum aslam. Jazakallah for having me. Dr. Saib, so the wait, the wait is finally over, and we have been blessed with the, the inauguration of this beautiful mosque. What are your feelings? Alhamdulillah. This uh, couldn't have happened without Allah Ta'ala's graciousness. It couldn't have happened without beloved Hazul's prayers and we are humbled today that we have managed to achieve this landmark but this is only because of Allah Ta'ala's graciousness. So Alhamdulillah it's open, inaugurated and we are here. So can you just tell us about some of the sacrifices that the Jamaat of Skantap have done uh, for this uh, success of this uh, building so far? Um, as you know we are a small Jamaat and the expenditure was almost a million pounds. Every member in one shape or another digged very hard into their pockets and paid the amount. And Alhamdulillah, before this inauguration, we have paid the total built cost all by Jamaat, Skantov Jamaat members. Some of them didn't buy houses, some of them didn't buy uh, new cars. That's how we built it. And uh, Hazur had come and visited, and mashallah, he, he inaugurated the blessed mosque. What was Hazur's remarks about the mosque itself? Hazur, I think, likes Skantop. He came here and uh, uh, he uh, liked the place. He said, you have built it well. He's pointed out a few um, um, bits that we need to improve, but otherwise he was very happy. Uh, with the mosque, build quality, atmosphere, and uh, indeed uh, the whole place. <coughs> and what has been the reactions of the locals uh, that you've built this first purpose-built mosque here? What has their reaction been, and especially after the inauguration ceremony? Um, locals were all very impressed with the building. What they're saying is this is a remarkable building in a small place that we have built. But I think their most important comments were that they all felt very welcomed. They felt everyone was uh, very welcoming and uh, they could see love all around them. So that's what uh, was the most uh, important comment that we get from what get. Zakala Dr. Saif for your time and may Allah make this blessed, uh, this mosque a blessed and a place of worship where all, all MDs come together, inshallah. <laughs> Dear viewers, the journey to the building of this mosque hasn't been easy. The local Jamaat faced, faced challenges whilst building this house of worship. Here's a report about how the local Jamaat stood up still against the opposition whilst building this mosque. In a small British town, a storm is brewing. Here are all the Muslims who don't want a mosque being built. You heard that right. Muslims protesting against a mosque. 
Scunthorpe, a small and quiet industrial town, isn't a place where you'd expect much conflict. But when the Ahmadiyya Muslim community planned to construct the first purpose-built mosque in the area, other local Muslims were outraged. When we made the application to the council, there was a lot of opposition, mostly from local um, you know, non ahmadi Muslims. Um, they opposed to the council and they told them that they are not Muslims and uh, you should not uh, allow them in any kind of uh, planning permission, leave alone uh, uh, you know, any mosque. On the day of the decision, council members were due to visit the site of the planned mosque, but another group turned up instead. And all of a sudden, we seen that lots of non ahmadi Muslims, they came to the site with a quite large plenty of placards uh, saying no to mosque, no to mosque, they are proffered, no to mosque. And uh, they started shouting. Opposition against this community of around 200 Ahmadi Muslims was fierce. Local Ahmadi Salman Muzaffar filmed the protesters. His brother Kamran Muzaffar describes what happened next and they started to oppose face-to-face uh, -to, -face, uh, to my brother and a few of the members that this is not a mosque, you guys should not be allowed uh, to have this planning approval. And you guys have come along, I don't know where you've come from. Which banana boat do you come from? There you go, there's, there's the aggressive behaviour. You know, they were still kind of trying to invade and to try to influence the people who were visiting us at that time. And around about one or half when I got a phone call from police, saying that we can't guarantee your safety, so we advise that you don't come to this um, uh, planning committee meeting. And that day, the final decision was supposed to be taken for planning permission for the mosque. So I, I told them that uh, providing safety is your responsibility, and um, I am going to come, and I have to put my viewpoint to council. And then, of course, afterwards, I got a phone call saying that, yes, they will provide safety to me. With eight members of the deciding committee, a majority verdict was needed for the plans to be approved. I went there and put our viewpoint across that why we want this mosque, what's good about this, and uh, how it's going to benefit the community. And one member who was actually non ahmadi Muslim, background from Pakistan. He actually abstained because of the opposition. He could not withheld the pressure from the non ahmadi Muslims. Very noble of him. He said, I have been influenced by uh, my constituents and my decision making is not without influence, so I will not vote. And he stood down and he left the planning committee. What we came to know later on, that he was in favor of most. And because he thought if he will vote for the favor of mosque, he may, you know, face more opposition and more prosecution from non ahmadi Muslims. And he knew our Jamaat, uh, you know, and that's why he knew that uh, these, uh, you know, people are, you know, very peaceful and uh, certainly they do deserve their mosque. So there were lots of things that were happening and we weren't sure whether we'll be able to convince councillors that we need this. Eventually, the approval was given by just a margin of one. And when they voted, and that application was voted in our favour with four to three votes. And again, hats off to councillors. In spite of all the opposition, they upheld the great British values and gave us the permission. Now, despite challenges, threats and opposition, Scunthorpe has its very first mosque. Dear viewers, that was a look at some of the opposition that was faced by the local Jamaat during the building of this historic mosque. And Allah's grace continues to bless the Jamaat as it continues to progress and build more and more mosques around the world. And that is all the time we have for today. We hope you enjoyed the live news special. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.